Hi, I'm Karen from Blockinati's FLL Team 9462. Today I'll be teaching you how to program your PID line follower. It's easier to follow a line when the light sensor is closer to the drive axle. The easier it is to follow a line, the faster you can go. We won't be using KI in this video because you don't need KI when you have a reference point like a black line. To start tuning our line follower, we'll start with a little KP at 50% power. The robot drives straight, but he can't quite make the sharp turn. We need more KP. We're going to double the KP and add a KD of 2. Too many wiggles means you need more KD. Let's double the KD. It's still too wiggly, so we'll have to add more KD. We'll double KD up to 8. We still need more KD. We need to increase KD by 2. We need more KD. Let's bump the KD of 10 up to 12. Nailed it! Now let's go for more speed. Let's start with a KP of 1.2 and a KD of 12 at 75 power. We need more KD. Let's bump KD up to 16. Even more KD. Let's set the KD to 20. Even more KD! Our final values are 1.2, 0, 24, and 75. The robot's going just a little bit too fast to drive smoothly consistently. Let's drop the speed a little bit and retune the PID. Our final values are KP of 1.15, KI is 0, KD of 17, power of 70, and time, the time was 35. <laughs> 27 feet of extreme line following in only 35 seconds. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, please subscribe to our channel.